could, you only see the church on every block. They don't teach you that. All they teach you is um, come as you are. John 3, 16. Bring that up. But they never teach you your history. Right. In just three minutes, you just learn more than you learn the church. Oh. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But this, hey, man, it depends who, who's, it depends who's teaching it and truth and sincerity. So let's get you. You said what? Leviticus 11, slot. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 7. We know. And it's one, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, uh -huh. yet he cheweth not the cud. Uh -huh. He is unclean to you. Die for it. You don't? What about you, sister? Die for it. So the Lord said, you can't eat pork. It's unclean to you. That's right. When we eat pork, it got spirits on it. You know what demons are in pork, right? Give me Mark 5, verse 11. Your car. Give me Mark 5, verse 11. It got demons on it. That's why when our people eat that, we got blood diseases. You got the gout. No, you, you're always sick because that has parasites in it. You know that, right? Beef don't do that to you. No, chicken don't do that to you. All, it don't do that to you. But pork is always messing you up because pork is unclean. Well, right, let's get this real quick. It's the, it's pork, the book. Mark, it's a this is the book of Mark, chapter five, verse number eleven. Bring it out. Oh. Now, now there was there night unto the mountains mm -hmm. a great herd. Of swine. So there's in a, in a far distance with the, um, Jesus Christ was a great herd of swine. Okay, go on. Huh. And all the devils. All the what? And all, all the, the devils. devils. So Where are devils? You know what devils are? You know, it's just demons. It's just all the demons. Read. Besought him, saying, "Send us into the swine." Send us what? Send, send us into, into the swine. swine. Those demons said, "Put a hey, send us into the swine." I Meaning, because um, pork has a lot of um, spirits on it. So when you eat pork. Yeah, all those spirits on you. No unclean spirits. Now all of a sudden, you're always angry out of nowhere. You're always grumpy and things of that nature. Because when you eat healthy, it puts a good spirit in you, right? But when you um eat on junk food and things of that nature, it puts a bad spirit on you. Because these food have spirits on it. You know that, right? That's right. So let's get um Second Maccabees chapter six and verse eighteen. It's the book of Second Maccabees, chapter six and verse eighteen. We know. Eleazar, one of the principal scribes. Mm -hmm. An aged man right. and a well-favored countenance right. was constrained to open his mouth and to eat swine's flesh. And to eat what? And, and to, to eat, eat swine's flesh. flesh. So Eleazar is one of our chief forefathers. He was a man of renown, a man of honor in this thing. But it was persecuting us back in the Roman Empire. You know That's the right. Roman Empire? Or the Greek Empire, Salaki? The Greek Empire? So back then, they was trying to make us and um, constrain us to eat swine's flesh. Because they know, these people know that it's against our law. That's, That's right, why man. you're in toothpaste and everything that have pork in it. Because they know that you're God's chosen people, yeah, they want right. you to keep going off. Because right when you get close, what's called, start keeping the commandments, you're the closest thing to the Most High God. Because yeah, the right. Most High God looks just like you. We're made in His image. You got the brown skin just like us. We can prove it. Who wants to prove it real quick? Or what's up? Come on, let's get let's jump that. Let's get, we'll keep going on that. Give me Revelation 1014. But He, choosing rather to die gloriously uh -huh. than to live strange uh -huh. with such an abomination. So did you see that? He didn't want to eat pig. That's how honorable our forefathers was. He'd rather right. die than to eat pig. Yeah, that's how bad it is. Give me um Second Maccabees chapter seven verse one real quick. Bring it out. It's the book of Second Maccabees chapter seven and verse one. Bring it out. In the hundred and one fiftieth year, Demetrius, the son of Seleucus, departed from. Second Maccabees. Second Maccabees seven and verse one. Come on. It's the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 7 and verse 1. Bring it up. It came to pass also that seven brethren with their mother were taken and compelled by the king against the law to taste swine's flesh. So what? To, to taste, taste swine's, swine's flesh. flesh. We're, we're in the same account. These young men, younger men than probably myself, right? Younger men than probably you, was constrained to eat swine's flesh again. Now, what do you think they did? Did they eat it and they said, okay, and it is what it is? What do you think? Right, they did. Like, let's keep, this is your forefathers, man. Okay, let's keep going. And we're tormented. It was what? And, and we're, we're tormented. tormented. They got beat up. They got tormented instead of eating swine's flesh. Keep going. Scourges and whips. Right. But one of them that spake first said thus, what would thou ask or learn of us? Right. We are ready to die. Right. Rather than to transgress the laws of our fathers. You see how zealous they were? We have, to, we have to have the same zeal as our forefathers. That's right. Have, instead of transgressing the Lord, I would rather die and be honorable in the eyes of the most of God. That's, that's right. So we can't eat flesh anymore because that's unclean to us, brother and sister. Okay? So let's get this real quick. Who has it? Revelation 1 and 14 comes. Because this is not how it looks like. Y'all believe this? Right? That's, that's all. This, this right here is, what, is the reason why we're in captivity. You know that, right? That's the reason you, know, you said that you don't believe that? Like this? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. They made us bow down to that. You know about um, Hernan Cortez and Christopher Columbus? If we didn't bow down to this man, they would put us to death. 
right? That's right. Let's get this real quick. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Bring it out! His head and his hairs. You're hearing this, right, brother? You're hearing this? I will make you quick, my bad. Right? So this man, the Lord describing how Jesus Christ really looked like. Do you believe he looked like this? I believe, like, well, maybe a self, maybe. Kendrick, maybe. Like, if they look directly like his, like his skin color, you know, with the bronze shit. Uh, uh. And his hairs were white like wool. This man don't have blue hair. No, if brother took her hair out, we got blue hair. Right? Not everybody got blue hair. Right, me? As white as snow, right. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Right. And his feet. 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 So when you take off your Air Forces, your Deep Bezos, and stuff like that, your feet will be the same skin compression as the rest of your body, right? Right, keep going. And his feet like a to fine brass, uh -huh. as if they burn in a furnace. As if they what? As, as if, if they, they burn, burn in, in a furnace. furnace. So Jesus Christ is a so-called black man. That's, That's right. right. If you burn something in a furnace, you forgot the cookies and stuff, you burn in the furnace, it's gonna be dark as hell, right? Exactly. Darker than me, darker than me, but I'm gonna my shirt, man. That's right, because the people in the Bible are you. King David, Solomon are you. Sarah is you. No, so that's just your heritage, brother. So what, can I eat pork? Why not? <laughs> Give me a job for you, sex. You said what? You said a lot of things, and it's not healthy, though. Right, it's not healthy, right, but what, what's the chief reason? Because who said it? Right? So what's your nationality? Do you know? Did I tell you yet? African American? No? No? Because African American was only here for what? 400 years? America was only here for like 500 years. That's right. So how can we be African American? Who was your foreign forefathers? You know, like a thousand years ago. There had to be somebody, right? Right? So let's get this real quick. This is the book of first. This is the book of St. John, chapter 1, verse 47. Bring it out! Jesus saw Nathaniel right. coming to him and safe of him. Behold, an in Israelite indeed. indeed. And what? An Israelite, Israelite, Israelite indeed. indeed. So behold, an Israelite indeed. He didn't uh, say an right. African American indeed. He didn't say a nigger indeed. He said an Israelite indeed. That's, That's right. right. That's right. right. God's chosen people. When you read this whole Bible, you always see Israel, Israelites. That's all you see in the Bible. Because y'all are God's chosen people. That's, That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? Can I get one more now? Let's be. Let's get uh, Leviticus 19 verse 27. Let's get uh, Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5, actually. Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. Bring it out! Get two more, my bad, two more, my bad. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 27. We'll get, one, we'll get one for you, then we'll get one for you, okay? Because I love the Most High God, right? So this is what his, am I saying this? It's the words of the Lord. He shall not round the corners of your heads, right? neither shall that more the corners of thy beard. I can see, are you, can you grow a beard? Right? The Lord said you can't cut that off, man. That's how can right. you tell the difference between y'all two? Right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's right? true. Yeah. See that? Because she's a lioness. You're a lion. That's you right. Hold that thing out, man. <laughs> I got, I got a sovereign, man. Bring it out! That's what it is, what it is. Right, but brothers, you know, he got it coming in. The brother got a nice one coming in. It is what it is. You know, brothers are struggling. That's, that's, right. that's right. So, um, read it again from the top of the show. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 27. Bring it out! He shall not round the corners of your head. Right. Neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. Yeah. Right. Verse 28. That's right. But go and get this real quick. And do the round 2025. That's this you. Because you know it's just can grow beards. Oh. You know, stuff like that. So that's for you. So you can know cutting off your um your beard. You said what? <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, I mean, it happens. It, it happens. You can't grow no beard. <laughs> uh, it happens, you know. I know uh, ladies don't grow out a big, you know, oiled up beard, man. Walking around, man. Yeah. No, that's not, that's not happening according, you know. That's not happening. Yeah, right? But well, let's get this real quick. Uh, so that was for you, okay. You can't, um, you can't go bald either. If you go bald naturally, that's okay, but you can't shave yourself bald. You do that? I don't say I just go to the barber shop. <laughs> all right, yeah. Tell, if they try to cut you bald, don't do it. All right, okay. All right, yeah. Don't do it. Deuteronomy. Now, this is for you. Are you ready? All right, let's get you. Right. Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Bring it out! out! The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. So, what does a woman wear that pertains to a man? Think about it. If you go to the, to the bathroom, you're already looking, man. You're already looking. Right? So if you go to the bathroom, how can you tell which one's the man and the woman? Exactly. She's on point. That's right. You know, the Lord said, according to the Bible, a woman has to wear a modest apparel. That's, That's right. In that nature. Because back then, you woman wasn't wearing pants. It was like, what, 50 years ago? 60 years? Like, that's a woman's suffrage movement. That wasn't long ago. Your foremothers in the Bible, they wore modest apparel. Because right. you want all of that to be, okay, kind of got you, King. You want all that to be covered just for you. You don't want no other man looking at your wife, man. 
Because you're going to feel some type of way. And next thing you know, you, you know, hey. you're going at it, man. In a barbershop, man. That's all, hell, all hell breaking loose, man. So you don't want that to happen. So it, the Lord said, you got to wear a modest apparel. Do you agree with that, sister? How do you feel? Uh, yeah, like, oh, give me first um, Timothy 2 and 9. Nothing tight. So, Not, well, go ahead, go ahead. My pastor, but he told us, he don't like for us to wear pants on the arm. Full pants. Yeah, he told us to wear dresses. Yeah, yeah, like, that's in the Bible, though, right? Um, I don't know what, what he told, I don't know the whole context. I don't know what's going on, right? But, um, yeah, you're supposed to wear dresses. Not the tight dresses, you can see everything, but modest apparel. Yes, don't sir. think that it look like an old granny. There's beautiful dresses you can wear and things of that nature. But look at this one. It's the book of First Timothy, chapter two and verse nine. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. In what? In, in modest, modest apparel. apparel. In modest apparel. What's modest apparel? Do you know? Dress, hair wrap, and things of that nature. Right. That's the modest apparel. Looking beautiful for your husband, but keeping all of that stored in just for your husband. And you, you gotta be the provider and the leader for your wife, because the man, he's the man of the household. How do y'all feel about that? Who runs the relationship? If you don't want to answer, that's okay. But who runs the relationship? The man's supposed to be the best. All right, you see that? All right, you agree with that, brother? All right, give me first Corinthians 11 and 3. All right, because you... Yeah, exactly, right? You see that? Exactly. I agree. The man's supposed to be the head of the house. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. No, I'm, I'm the man. It is what it is. Mm. <laughs> Different when it's the actions. Different the actions, man. Yeah. Yeah, they start punching. Yeah, hey, hey. all hell start breaking loose, man. Right? Let's go and get this one. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Bring it out! But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of the man is Christ. It's all authority. The most, right. You got the most high God, right. you got the son of man, right. then you got the man right. who was made in his image. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. So the head of the woman is the man. That's right. You have to look to his going to how to be, you know, modern. You have to protect her, basically. She has to look up to you for what? Right. Provi um, pro um, being provider. That's right. Give her, give her kids, make sure she's straight. Give me, give me Exodus 21 verse 10, actually. Let's go to the law. Let's see what the Lord said real quick. Y'all agree with all this, right? Because some people, they, they hate that. They said it's an equal, equal relationship. If I say something, guess what? He's going to do it. If I, you know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. Right, let's get this real quick. Now, she do have an opinion. You have the option to, you know, listen to that. It's, and things a, yeah, it's yeah. an order, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect, it's all love. Give me Ephesians 5 and verse 22. Bring it out. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 21, verse 10. Bring it out. If you take him another wife. If you take him another, please. Keep going. Her food, <laughs> her raiment, and her duty of marriage. All those things, food, raiment, and duty of a marriage. You know, handle, handle the business, read. Shall he not diminish? So you got to do all that for your wife. If you have a wife, you have to do all those things that's to right. protect her wife. Because the Lord can jam you up if you don't take care of her, because that's a princess. That's right. And if you bucking up against him, that's a king, and he can do something to you. You want to get an account what can happen to you? Get an account of what happened to our foremothers? Let's get, let's get um, 2 Samuel, right? Chapter 6, by McCall. And you can start at verse, um, start when David was leaping and dancing. Right? Let's get this real quick. It's the book of Ephesians. You guys got it, verse 7? Chapter 5, verse 22. Bring it up. Wives. Oh. Submit yourselves unto your oh. own husbands. So the Lord said, wives, submit yourself unto your own husband. Meaning, be obedient. If he says something, he's ahead of the household. You know, don't try to buck up and stuff like that. Because there's an order. Because you want to do that to the Lord, right? Same thing with you. If she has an opinion and stuff like that, listen to it. Don't be like, don't be beating on your chest. Yeah, man. I'm a, you know, you're lying in your household, right? You listen. You know what I'm saying? Read. As unto the Lord. Right? Giving thanks always for all things unto God. And to the Father in the name of our Lord. That's good here. But so that's playing the front table. Let's get that. Second uh, uh, Samuel yeah. 6. Second Samuel chapter 6, verse number 20. Bring it out. And David returned to bless his household. So David, who's still called Vitamin too, right? He was coming back to bless his household. He had a good time. He was, it was a block party for lack of a better term. He was turning up in righteousness. That's like your that's like your um husband or your I don't want I don't know your um, business, but that's like your man and things of that nature. He had a good time with the fellas, man. He's coming back home. He's tired, right? Read. And my call. The daughter of Saul right. came out to meet David. Right, so that's like a woman coming out with her bonnet on, her hands crossed like this. Where are you coming from? Right? Don't do that, right? Let's keep going. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's keep going. And said, how glorious was the king of Israel today. And that's sarcastic. That's, she's being sarcastic. Basically, she's jealous. Like, how glorious was the king? You know what I'm saying? That's how females do, man. Like, where were you? Yeah. <laughs> that's her. That's what you do? 
And that's good though. The Lord's having us bring this out. That's right. That's right. Because right. right. hey, right. people who get corrected, it's humbleness. You know what I'm saying? It's humbleness. But I get corrected all the time. So everybody who you get corrected, I bet. Right? You get corrected, but God, you gotta be able to take that correction. You know what I'm saying? Right. Come. How glorious was the king of Israel today? Uh -huh. Who uncovered himself today in the eyes of the handmaids right. of his servants as just as just as one of the vain fellows. She, she called him a vain fellow. She was getting on him being jealous of the other um, sisters and things like that. That's issue. right. Right? She was being jealous and she was talking back to her husband. Keep going. Con. Shamelessly uncovereth himself. And David said unto my call, uh -huh. it was before the Lord. Yeah, the man, he put it back in order. He said, hey, man, it was before the Lord. <laughs> no, that's Jake, man. That's, hey, that, he's just like you. He's just like us. He said, hey, man, it was before the Lord. Read. Which chose me before thy father and before all his house to, to appoint me ruler over the people uh -huh. of the Lord. All right, keep going. Over Israel. Mm -hmm. Therefore will I play be for the Lord. Because right, the man can do certain things, you can't really have a say so on that. Because he is the man. If you say he wants some fried chicken, don't be like, well, I want this. He want fried chicken, you know what I'm saying? That's right. That's because you're the head of the household. Yeah. But you do have your own option. Like you want, I love you, and you're my girl. I'll let you have this fish for tonight and stuff like that, right? But you hey, you want fried chicken, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, verse 23. Therefore, my call, the daughter of Saul. Right, this is what happened to her when she bucked up against the husband. Read. Had no child Damn. until the day of her death. So she was barren. That's what the Lord can do. <laughs> the Lord right. can do something to you if you don't take care of her. He can, you know, do something bad to you, take your take your life away, and give her to another man. Because that's what he did to David. You know, Nabal was wicked. And guess what? Nabal got cut down. That's right. He gave, the Most High God gave his wife right. to David. Right. A, a man that's married to him. That's right. right. That's, that's important. How's it going, family over here? Uh, Y'all believe in the Bible? So basically, what I'm telling them. What do I tell y'all? What's your nationality? I want to see if y'all know. What's your nationality? Israel. You said what? Israel. Hey, don't tell me. You got to tell her. Hey, you got to tell her. Hey, I don't know. Israel. Israel. So he said he's an Israelite. What's your father's nationality? See, that's, that's a curse. You can do it around 28 verse 15. You know? If I want to listen more, feel free. You know what I'm saying? I got to deal with both of y'all. All right? So let's it's the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 15. Right? No. But it shall come to pass that thou will not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, right. to, do, to observe, Reverse, uh, to do all his commandments, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, right. that all these curses, all these, what? All all these, these curses, curses. All curses, good things or bad things? Man. Bad things, right? Are you? Shall come upon thee, Man. and overtake Man. thee. So the right. Lord is telling the Israelites, if you don't keep the commandments, right. all these curses will come upon you if you don't keep my commandments. So we'll get a few curses real quick, okay? Going. Verse 16. Bring it out. Cursed shall that be in the city. So who's cursed in the city? You go down to the street. Who's poor? Who's getting evicted out their houses? Who had, um, had that pointy knee on his neck in the city? Who's getting shot down the streets, man? That all happened to us. You see That's that? right. It don't happen to all these different nations. Because we're, we're God's chosen people. That's we don't keep his commandments. That's why we're in captivity to this day. That's right. Keep reading. And cursed shall that be in the field. So who was cursed in the field picking cotton, picking sugar cane? Right? Us, right? Exactly. That happened to all of us. That's why you're an Israelite. You're an Israelite, brother. And y'all Israelites, God's chosen people. Let's get one more before you dip out. Let's get one more. 54. Go ahead, two more. Verse 54. Right. So that the man that is tender among you. This is for you, okay? And very delicate, his eye shall be evil towards his brother. Right. And towards the wife of his bosom. Uh -huh. And towards the remnant of his children. Right. Which he shall leave. You see that? Wait, is that your dad right here? Oh, no, that's Husband, okay, my bad. My bad. But uh, you said that you don't know who your dad is, right? The thing is, that's in the Bible. The Lord said, right. if you don't keep his commandments, these curses will come upon us. We won't know who our dad is. That's right. right. That's what you're going through. And a lot of brothers don't know who their dad is, too. That's, that's right. That's only happening to our people. You go to the suburbs, they have a happy family. They have, they're living good. But why? But well, we're the ones cursed because we don't keep the commandments of the Most High God. That's right. that's right. Let's get verse 68. It's the huh? book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. So if you're not convinced right now, this should be able to convince you about the Israelites. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So what happened in the first Egypt? Anybody know? The first Egypt was doing what? It was slaves. Right? That's why you have that thing called what not to go. Because there was um, slavery in Egypt. But the Lord said he would bring you back. Back into slavery again with what? With ships! With what? With, with ships. ships! So who went to slavery on ships? Us, right? That's right. Remember, Moses is talking to the Israelites. 
So if the Israelite, if Moses told the Israelites, if you don't keep the commandments, we will go into slavery on ships and that happen to the African Americans, who would that make us? What? What's our nationality? Israelites. You're an Israelite according to the Bible. Now, what commandments did I give you? Knowing that you're an Israelite, what commandments did I give you that you want to share with the family right here? You know? Yeah. You know, can you eat pork? No. Why not? Dangerous. Dangerous. But why? But what's the truth? Right, right, right. But the most high God said. Right. right? What about you? You like pork? Well, let's get real quick. You like pork, King? Why not? What's your game? Why not? My mom, my mom is Muslim. I never. Okay, okay, that's what's up. Right, that's what's up. So let's get to the Leviticus 11:17. This is the Book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 7. Hello. How are you? My bad. Yeah, verse 7. Come on. And the swine. And the what? And, and the, the swine. swine. What's, don't know what swine is? Everybody's up the game. Pork, right? Read. Though he divided the hook and be cloven footed, yet he too of not the cud, right. he is unclean to you. So a pig don't sweat, they don't eat the grass, oh, yeah, yeah, they yeah. don't um, digest their food properly. So anything that they eat, you're eating too. Why people love to eat what? Shetland? Guess what? They ate a dead cat that have been dead for three days. That's where they have all those parasites. And guess what? You're eating the same thing. You're eating the same. That's why a lot of people have parasites in their brain. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have heart disease. That's right. They get the gout. That's right. They have um, high blood pressure because of that pig. I'm about to dip out right now. Okay, you got a fire? So, someone get a fire? So, before you dip out, King, go out King. Before you dip out, what's your nationality? Can you eat pork? Okay. What about, what, what's this right here? Okay, right. the most up. What about you, sister? Before you leave, what do you have to wear? Dress, let's call it modest apparel. And between y'all two, what has to happen? There's order to it, right? Yeah. That means, you know, you listen, but you the man of the household, and he's over the woman and things of that nature, and righteousness, you know, be, make sure you should be righteous. You know, we got our fire, we got everything on there, if you need anything, right. just listen, okay? Right, That's right, right. 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 I'll pray to the most high. Yeah. Right. 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 right, so let's keep, let's keep going. Jump down to verse, um, actually, I can, I'll, Jumping on the verse something now. You like seafood, sister? What type of seafood? Mm -hmm. So everything in the seafood boil, right? <laughs> but let's see if the Lord said that. Because what's the what's the um what's the similarity in crab, shrimp, oysters, and things of that nature? What does it have in common? Bottom feet, exactly. Yeah, the way that you know it's on, right? Uh, does he teach the same thing? Right, exactly. It's the same thing. It's bottom feet. That's why our ocean is dirty. You go to the Atlantic Ocean, it's green. You go to the lakes, you go to the rivers, it's like orange, man. That's why they take all <laughs> they take all the bottom feeders. That's why they can't clean the ocean, right? Is this the book of Leviticus chapter 11, verse nine. Bring it out. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. What's a two of one? What's a two of one? What does it have to have? Can I read it again for you? Okay. And what else? Scales. Fins and scales. So do lobster and crab, do they have fins and scales? No, but what do though? What type of fish? Not all fish. What type of fish? Can I eat catfish? No, right, no, right? Because catfish, they don't have what? Scales. You got fins. They, they don't have scales. So all that mud, all that dirt, because they're bottom feeders too, it gets on them. They're supposed to be the rivers and the lakes, right? If I'm not mistaken. So no problem, no problem with cat food. But you can eat grass snapper, you can eat spike, you can eat uh, halibut, you can That's eat right. salmon. That's right. You can eat all these things. Make sure it has fins and scales, okay? That's why uh, some people say tilapia, I don't know about that. I don't know. Tuna, some people say, I don't know. I think tuna, right? Uh, tuna has scales, but yeah. So you got different, you know, different options. So you can eat there. No, but hey, stay away from the you know, abomination creatures, you know, like pig, shrimp, crab, and lobster. That's right, you want another commandment? You know what today is? What about you? You know what today is, brother? Bring it out. Right, let's get uh, Exodus chapter 20 real quick. Give me, Teach, I, uh, give me okay. Isaiah chapter 56 and verse uh, 2. Teach, uh, I think it's 59 and 2, actually. 59 and 2. Yeah, yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah. Boy, it's the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it out. Yeah. Remember the Sabbath day. Boys, remember the Sabbath day. You know, you know anything about the Sabbath day? Put me on game, what you got? Right? Do you know what day it is? Well, I, I, I didn't know how to get that. Oh, you straight, King? Yeah. 
Saturday, right? Right? You, t you tell her that. You tell her that and everything. Do you keep the Sabbath day? What? Well, let's be real. Why not? Right. True. 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 So which one do you agree with more, Islam or Israelites? Well, I know more about Islam. Say it one more time. I know more about Islam. Uh -huh. Okay. So did you know that Islam, it all comes from the Bible, you know that, right? That's right. The Quran means to recite. That's right. So everything they recited in the Quran, they got it from the Bible and they kind of added their own twist. That's right. The Bible came before the Quran. That's right. If you look it up. The Quran came what around? Uh, well, Islam came around what? Uh, 622 BC, if I'm not mistaken? That's right. Around there? That's right. The Bible was already, already preceded that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you're being real, uh, not Christianity, uh, Hebrew Israelites was before that, because this is not religion. The Islam is a religion. This is your heritage. Give me That's Jeremiah right. 17 verse 4. Bring it out. Give me Jeremiah 17 verse 4. And this is just history. You can look it up yourself. I'm not just lying. That's history. Bring right. it out. I got another thing. Did you know that Muhammad is a white man? Yeah. Bring it out. Yeah, if you read the Hadith uh, 163, That's right. he's a white man. Right. He stole the um, he stole the records of our forefathers and basically copied and printed just to make it seem like he made his own religion. That's right. So that's nothing new, you know. Things in that nature. But let's get this real quick. This is because Jeremiah chapter seventeen, verse four. No. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine yeah. heritage. The Lord said He will make us get discontinue from my heritage. Notice how He doesn't say a religion. Right. Read. Come, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knewest not, for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger which shall burn forever. And that's the reason why we're in captivity right now. The Lord right. just continue us from our heritage, which is a Hebrew Israelite, because we didn't, we didn't keep the commandments. So what's the other reason why, um, do, you, do you think, you know, according to your knowledge, why else were we being um, cursed? Do you know why? What's the main reason why, you know? If people bow down to this, what is this? If people bow down to it, what did they make it? They made it an idol, right? So don't they bow down in the Mecca, at the Mecca stone or the cobblestone, my bad? Right? They bow down to that. But the Lord said, let's get that in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. This is what you do to run to me. Chapter 28, give me some. Verse 64. You know, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people right? from the one end of the earth. So the Lord said, well, bring, put us in the captivity, read. Even unto the other. Right? And then thou shalt serve other gods, right? which neither. That know thy fathers have known, uh -huh. even wood and stone. Even what? Even, even wood, wood and stone. stone. So the Lord said he will put us in captivity, and he, guess what? Now we're serving wood and stone. Wood right. is that cross. A lot of people have that cross around their neck, right. bow down to the cross. Bring that up. stone is the cobblestone. That's, That's right. They say Abraham built that, but where in the Bible did Abraham build that? It's not in the Bible. Mm. That's right. It's all the idol and idolatry in the thing. Let's get. Let's go to the law. Let's go to Exodus chapter twenty and verse three. You got to preach up. Let's get let's get no. Up. To the book of Psalms, chapter 97, verse 7. There you know. Confounded be all they that serve graven images. That serve what? That, that serve graven images. images. Uh -huh. That boast themselves of idols. Of idols. So all those different things are idols. That's right. Now, we don't bow down to none of these things. We worship the Most High God in the spirit. That's you know, right. You know what that means? You know what it means to worship the Most High God in the spirit? I mean, we're not bowing down to idols. We don't set up any graven images to make it seem like he's a god. That's what they do. That's what the heathen do. That's a heathen custom. Order. The Lord said we can't follow them. Let's get down to Jeremiah 10, verse 2. Go ahead, read that. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 3. No. No. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Right. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images. I think they right here. Read. Or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, right. or that is in the right. earth beneath, right. or that is in the water. Underneath the earth. Right. So the Lord said you can't do that. So what you think about that, King? I said again. So what you think about all that? What I just said. But basically, when he, when he read this, he said you can't work to the graven images and stuff like that. I said the cobblestone. That's a, um, a idol that they bow down to. You can't be doing that. That's what the Lord said. You can't worship wood and stone. Christianity. That's idol. That's idolatry too, because they bow down to wood. But we worship the Most High God in the spirit. That's right. But then let's get that in John chapter four, verse twenty-four. Bring it out. Right, let's start at verse 22. Start at verse 22. So it says the book of John, chapter 4, verse number 22. Yeah. Yea, worship, yea, know not what. So a lot of people know what they worship. They just hear it, 
they go with it, they think it kind of sounds nice, it's a new trend, they don't really know what they worship. This Christ speaking, read. We know what we worship. But we know what we worship. We can come out the Bible, we got precepts and things in that nature. The nation is of the Jews. Let's bring up our table. Salvation is of the Jews, That's the right. Israelites. Salvation is for you, brother, and for you, sister. That's, That's all right. right. That's right. right. But the hour cometh, right. and just, and now is. Now what? And now, now, is, now is. When the true worshipers when the what when, when the, the true, true worshipers, worshipers said, now is the true worshipers man when they go out on the highways and byways and do the work of the lord they keep the commandments they believe with their whole heart read shall worship the father in spirit and what in, in spirit, spirit. Or image. In, in spirit in spirit in spirit read. and in truth and in truth so we don't we don't set up graven images and things in that nature because that's all idolatry key and that's what um, islam do so how would you, you know how would you respond to them I hear what you're saying, but I'm going to respond to it. I have to, you know, do my own little research. Yeah, do your own, yeah, proof, yeah, do your own things, do your own research, look it up for yourself. But, um, yeah, hey, that's, that's, that's just what it is. You got to research. Right. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 10. You know. But miserable are they, and in dead things is their hope, who call them gods, which are the works of men's hands. You got to hear. So, hey, that mecha stone that was built by a man. Right, we don't worship things that was built built by man. We worship the most high God <laughs> in spirit and in truth. That's right. I got a question for y'all real quick. Y'all know your nationality? Right. What's your nationality? Alright, man. Oh, I appreciate you so what's your nationality? Oh yeah, go ahead. Do what you gotta do. So what's your nationality though, before you do? Huh? Okay. Islam? Okay. That's a religion though, sister. Israelite. Israelite, right? Yeah. Islam is a religion that came by the Arabians and things of that nature. That's right. Right? But Israelite is your heritage. Just think about it. All these nations have their own thing. But what's our thing? The Bible is our heritage. That's right. And you got to do your own research as a man and do your own research as a woman. Right? Hey, King. Hey, brother. Come talk to me, King. How's it going? Uh, you're an Israelite, brother. That's right. You're a king walking the earth. Five minutes. Uh, that's the Lord, man. Uh, you, bro. How's it going, brother? I see you walking, you know, with swag and everything. What's your, uh, what's your nationality? Hebrew, man. Hebrew, yeah, Hebrew what? Man. Hebrew what? Hebrew, man. Hebrew what, brother? <laughs> don't, don't run away, brother. What? Hebrew what? <laughs> Give me a five. Give me a five. We got one. I gave we got one. one. We got one. Yeah. You're an Israelite, brother. I am. Hey, you gotta keep the commandments, brother. <laughs> that's right. Okay. Right, exactly. He run away, man. I'm a Hebrew. Hey, he smells a Hebrew, man. That's right. Yeah, he smells a Hebrew. But that's why we call it a Hebrew Israelite. That's right. We're Hebrews of the Hebrews. Like, that's right. Right, let's get that. This is week of 1 Peter, chapter 5, verse 3. Yeah. Yeah. Neither as being lords over God's heritage. Right, so we can't be lords over God's heritage. That's right. Being the sheep. Right, they, you ask them a question, they don't know what's going on, and you put them in a the down sewer, man, and lock it up. You can't be lords over the sheep, read. Huh? But being examples to the flock. Well, you gotta be an example to the flock, man. That's you gotta right. be walking uprightly. But the brother said, if you're a leader, if you're a leader in this thing, man, you can't, there's certain things you just can't be doing, man. You gotta be more righteous than the others. That's right. Same thing with us. We gotta be more of a light to these Gentiles. They don't, they don't know what's going on, man. That's right. And how do they know? We gotta convince the gangsters through our actions. Because we can say that we Hebrew Israelites, and this brother's smoking a blunt, man. Uh, like, what's going on? They don't wanna take what you do, it's too serious, man. Like, go, uh. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, right. they shall receive a crown of glory. That's what we want, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. Matthew 10 verse 7, Luke chapter 13 verse 3, and Psalm 115 verse 1. I want Matthew 10, I want that in, the, in that order, in that order. Bring it out! Uh, this is book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 7. Bring it out! And as ye go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. That's right. When all hell break loose, that's it. That's guess right. what? Every day, every time we, Lord willing, wake up in this thing, we're closer, closer, and drawing near to the kingdom of heaven. Right. That's right. Because when you first came into this tree,
free. I tell you nay, but it shall be repent. Ye shall all likewise perish. Ye shall all likewise perish. If we don't keep continuing to repent this day, guess what? Well, hey, these people are embarrassed, man. Look at the days of Noah. Look at the days of Lot. If you don't repent, you will get destroyed, man. We are going to destroy. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 115, verse 1. Yeah. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto, the, but unto thy name give glory for thy mercy and for thy truth. Sing. To all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. That's right. We'll give peace and blessings to the 12 tribes scattered abroad. And brother, give me one minute real quick. I got something to tell you. I got some news for you. You want some news? Go. Give me one minute, King. One real minute. Quick, King. I got one question. Real quick. Real quick. Are you his life, brother? Right? All praise to the Most High God. Pass on to the next servant of the Lord. All right. All right. All right.